Hello, we're going to be on page 156 looking at the guided practice example three here. So what you need to do is define, you know, step one, define your variables. So we're going to let each week Mackenzie can make 10 to 15 necklaces. I'm going to just let necklaces be X and 15 to 40 pairs of earrings. I'll let earrings be Y then. Uh, it's easier if we use X and Y. So I'm just going to let necklaces be X because they become first in the sentence. And I'm going to let earrings become Y because they come second. If she earns profits of $3 on each pair of earrings and $5 on each necklace, and she plans to sell at least 30 pieces of jewelry, how can she maximize profit? Well, now we have to write a system of inequalities. So the necklaces, remember, she has to have at least 10, but no more than 25. So necklaces are X. So X has got to be between 10 and 25. So I have, I've made this coordinate plane. I uh, I know I've kind of changed it, but this point here is zero, zero. And this is two, four, six, eight, and so on. And then we have zero, two, four, six, eight, and so on going upwards. So my X axis is my number of necklaces. My Y axis is my number of earrings. And that's why, you know, necklaces is X, earrings is Y. So necklaces, we can have between 10 and 25. Earrings, okay, 15 to 40 pairs of earrings. So Y has to be between 15 and 40. Okay, so notice we're shading on the inside here between 10 and 25 here, because necklaces has to be between 10 and 25. Now between 15 and 40, Okay, you're going to draw a horizontal line at fit y equals 15, and then another one at 40. Okay, the number of earrings has to be less than 40, so you're underneath that line, but it has to be greater than 15, so you're above this line. So, of course, I need to erase this little bit here because I shaded on the wrong side there. So you're going to have this region. Now there's one more inequality that we need to write. Notice that it says she plans to sell at least 30 pieces of jewelry. So that means that your number of necklaces X plus your number of necklaces Y has to be greater than or equal to 30. So X plus Y is greater than or equal to 30. So if you solved for Y, y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 30. Your intercept's 30, your slope's 1. So go to 30. Right here it is. And you're going to go down 1 over 1 each time. I'll just go over it and mark her here. Notice right here you have to be greater than this. You have to be above it. So this little triangle here should not be shaded in because you're above that line. So you're going to have one, two, three, four, five vertices to check for maximum profit. Okay, this is your feasible region. So we want to figure out how to maximize our profit now. We have to do, so we've done step one, step two, step three. We found the coordinates of the vertices. Well, we got to list them now. Okay, I'll uh, do that in the next video.